Blog Talk Radio. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost.
Sometimes when the Bible tells you to stand still yeah. and let God do the fight. Come on now. There are times when you have to be aggressive yeah. and go after that devil. Yeah. But sometimes the time you just got to stand still, hold your peace, and let God take over. I'm here to let you know this morning that there are certain situations that we're faced with in life's journey. Well, you got to stand beside and let That's God right. do it. That's right. That's right. Don't worry about it. Amen. Don't get all bent out of shape. You say, Lord, it's a situation I'm faced with, and I done tried. Yes. I done tried everything. I done prayed. I done fasted. Yes, yes. Now, Lord, I want you to take over. Come on now. Yeah, and when you stand aside and let God have his way, Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I want you to know that everything is going to come out all right. Amen. Now, amen. Now, that don't mean that you don't obey God. You got to obey God. Right, Lord. Now, if God tell you to go forward, you go forward. Amen. But when God tell you, now wait a minute, Come on you went forward, now I want you to stand still Lord. and let me do the rest. Let yes. me take over. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What am I saying? When you face with situations such as everything is falling apart, yeah. you can't find out what's going wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your health right. seems to be failing. And you don't know what the situation Amen. is. Yeah. Sometimes it looks like every time you try to do something right, Amen. wrong always, always happens. Present. When you understand always. this, and when you know that God is the author and finisher of your Amen. faith, yes. you've got to understand there are times that you have to hold your peace yes. and stand aside, yes. plant your feet, All and let God take over. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. This is deep here. Yes. And there's a line that has to be drawn. Yes. 
Sometimes I go after the devil and say, give me mine back. Amen. Sometimes I have to stand still and say, Lord, you got something that I need. Amen. 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 And harmless as it does. Amen. Amen. I want to pick up my thought from in the text in the 20th chapter. Jump right into verse 12. Oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that I said there are certain us. situations that will overwhelm us. Amen. Amen. And this is why you need a Savior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why you need a deliverer. Yeah. The Bible says, for a long time, Israel, without the true God, without uh, a teaching priest. Yeah. But God, in his mercy, heard their prayer, yes. and he was heard of them. Amen. In other words, when they cried out to God, yeah. God answered their cry. Amen. When you done all you can do, I recall a circumstance with David. And David was faced with an enemy that had a whole army, King Saul. And I recall one of his soldiers said, now Saul has it surrounded, but I found out where Saul is. Yeah. And he's fast to see. Yeah. All you got to do is take your sword and cut his head off. Yeah. And David said, no, we can't do it that way. No, we still God's anointed. Yeah. What we're going to do is stand still and let God fight this battle. Yeah. Right. And David never raised his hand yeah. against King Saul. Nope. God sent the Philistines yes, he did. and blessed the Philistines to defeat David's enemies. Yes, he did. Now, how can God do that? Because God can do anything he feels yeah, like. Anything. Right? Anything. He Hallelujah. told David, stand still, I can go from here. Right, right. And he said the Philistines, who had never defeated all the evil people of God, yeah. but he defeated King Saul. Yeah. But when David took the authority and took kingship, then when David fought the Philistines, you know what happened. Yes. Every time they raised up against King David, David knocked him down. Yes, right. Right. So I'm saying there are times in your life when you've got to hold your peace and let God fight your battle. Right. And pick up a text here. Oh God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither know we what to do. What? Don't know, know, know what, to we do. what to do. Sometimes the problem can be so immense. Until you really say, well, I, I don't know what to do about this. Man. But there's one thing you can do. Yes. You can trust in God. Hallelujah. When you learn how to lean on Jesus with all your heart, mind, and soul, something positive has got to happen in your life. Man. But when you start doubting God and have a spirit of depression that comes to take away your faith, you can never get a victory. Hallelujah. And then somebody hear me. Depression is not of God. It's from the spirit of unbelief. Yes, yes. And whenever you get so depressed, it makes you unhappy. And the next thing you know, you come to church and you can't praise God. Oh, you get yourself trying to fake it. And you can't fake praising God. Hallelujah. You got to be happy or you got to be miserable. There's no neutral ground. And when I come to the church of God, I know he's my all in all. I know God can do anything but fail. I've seen him work how to do it. I've seen what I've had heart attack. And I couldn't help myself. God had to help me. I've seen what I had situation in the church. I couldn't help myself. God had to help me. I seen when I was faced with financial crisis. I couldn't help myself. I didn't have no money tree. I didn't have no bank account. I had to trust on God. When God get ready to move, he'll shake a money tree in front of you. And all he do is got to move. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. He'll be a present help. All the time. If you allow him to be. Yes. 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 Whenever depression moments come, mm -hmm. you've got to create a sense of joy. Yes. Because when you are burdened and depressed, it irradiates. Yes, you know, it, it's like a person with a smile. Amen. Yes. He's happy. happy all day. But when you're depressed, the same spirit resonates to others around you. And the next thing they'll Come speak on, to you, teach, teach, and you'll teach. catch it in the wrong way. They might say, well, what's wrong with you? And you say, oh, I know. Well, why are you always bothering me? Amen. Yes. Oh, what you mean, what's wrong with me? When you got the wrong spirit, the wrong things come out. So therefore, you've got to create an atmosphere of joy and peace. Amen. And when you do this, somebody say, what's wrong with you? Or say, nothing. I was just thinking about Jesus. Hallelujah. I was thinking about the joy of God. Hallelujah. I was thinking about how I got a victory.
can come to yes. me. Yes. And I was meditating on my victory. Yes. And I was thinking about what I'm going to do. How many when I get my another testimony? Right. Some of you haven't testified in a long time, and that's not healthy. That's not spiritually good. Sometimes you got to force yourself to get up and you got to take two and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your holy name. You got to do something to glorify God. Don't sit down on your word. Right, Don't sit down on your testimony. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the song's designed to go forward, sometimes you got to stand up and say, Praise God. Yeah. And sing along with your choir. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Make a joyful noise right. unto the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Today, the spirit of depression no. is so strong, sometimes you can feel it. In the church. That's right. Yes. That's why you That's see praise service leaders. Buddy, they do all they can. Oh, no, I'm pumping his heart. It looks like they're going to sit there and they sat there. Praise the Lord. Two clap their hand up and look at them clapping. They say, What are you doing? And one clap, everybody at the class. The Bible said they were together and had all things in common. If I'm happy, you happy. Honey, if I got something, you got something. If I tap my head, I got to tap my head too. You got to tap your hand too because you have everything in common. Hallelujah. I know this is deep. Amen. But if you catch hold to me, That's you'll right. see what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm talking about do not let the devil depress you or put a spirit of unhappiness in you because it takes no away way. faith. Yes. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes, That's why I say when you go around people unhappy all the time, best thing all you the can time. say, I'm going to Listen, it's like a cold. Yes, yes. If somebody keep coughing in your face, mm -hmm. you ain't got Come no cold, they don't problem. have a cold. That's right, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you barking. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let no one around you yes. complain. Amen. That's right. And don't complain around people. Yes. Hallelujah. If you got a burden, the Bible said, take it to the Lord. What's difficult for that to understand? If you got a burden, take it to the Lord. Yes. Don't take it to uh, this one or that one or the other one. Because they might have a burden themselves. Right. Now, you got a weight, and somebody else got another weight, yeah. and they put their weight on your shoulder, Amen. plus they leaning on you. On, Where's the help coming from? Right. 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 Now, I want you to take notice of verse 13. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. They took their whole families yeah. before the Lord. Yeah. Why? Because there was a trouble that they could not handle. Yes. Amen. But they knew somebody who could. Yeah. Read. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, a son of Jael, the son of Madaniah, mm -hmm. a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Uh -huh. yes. And he said, Hearken ye all the Now, Judah. he said, Amen. Not God, but Je Jezael, Speaking for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see, when God got ready to send deliverance, mm -hmm. he spoke to somebody. Yes, he did. He didn't come down and speak to the congregation himself. He yes, spoke to somebody yes, yes. who could speak for him. Come on, problem. Yes. Amen. And we find that Jehaziah, he was a person, if you read back over in First Chronicles, he was the one that blowed the trumpet when David was getting ready to go back to Jerusalem with the ark. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. He was a warrior. Yes. yes. A mighty warrior. Yes. Amen. So God used, God always going to use somebody to speak with thus saith the Lord. Right. And you've got to understand, sometimes he don't always call, call, call a prophet. Sometimes he calls you to get and testify. Yes. He might tell you out on the street corner to preach Amen. with some tracks yes. and tell somebody what thus saith the Lord. Yes. God uses people in the way he wants to use people, but you've got to be willing to be used when God, hallelujah, hallelujah. touches you and tells you to go and do thus and so. You can't say, well, Lord, I don't feel like it today. I got a headache. I got a toy. This is hurting. Hallelujah. And they ain't going to listen to me no way. And I'm tired. And I got to go to work tomorrow. Oh, this is true. Some man and boy. Amen. If God can to do something, do it. Yes, Lord. God can to roll out that bed three o'clock in the morning. Say, Lord, I'm tired of working on this. Roll out that bed. Hallelujah. Wait on that. You don't say nothing. But Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. And call on him. You got to respect the person. Hallelujah. You've got to learn. How to follow the spirit 
They who are spirit led Amen. will always get the victory. And the spirit never gives the spirit of fear or doubt. Yes. The spirit never gives you an unhappiness. Yes. You create this yourself. That's and right. when you start creating it long enough, yes. the next yes. thing you know, you're going to catch yourself in even holding yes. it. That's right. Yes. Catch yourself in a Baptist church. Yes. A Methodist church. Yes. That don't have nothing to do with God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I hope y'all hear me by way of YouTube. Yes. Yes. Baptist, Methodist, Catholics, uh, uh, Jehovah, wit Jehovah Witness. Witness for Jehovah? You don't even know Jehovah. How do you know Witness for Jehovah? Hallelujah. We know Jesus. We can call him by his name. Hallelujah. Y'all call him the name of Jesus, but you don't know who he is. YouTube, listen. But I'm talking to you. Amen. Verse 15. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Judah. Jehoshaphat said, Hearken ye all Judah, yes. and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and y'all who live in Jerusalem, if you take it to context, they all yes. say people in the, ch in the church of God. Yes. Jerusalem yes. represents the church of God. Uh -huh. And thou King Jehoshaphat, thou said the and Lord. And King Jehoshaphat, you listen to. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid. Be not afraid. Yes. Lord, dismayed by reason of this Don't problem. try to figure out why you have gone through this problem. Don't be dismayed. Hallelujah. What? For the battle is not yours, but God's. Don't be dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, yes. this great big problem that I'm faced with, and I can't seem to get myself out of it. Every time I look like I got a breakthrough, hallelujah, here come that devil again. It's all right, though. If you trust in God, He will make that devil behave. That's right. Or He'll destroy that devil. That's right. If you listen to me, yes. Hallelujah. You don't need no new law. You don't need no new covenant. You already got a new covenant. Hallelujah. All you got to do is obey the covenant you in now. Praise God. Read that verse again. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Yes. Be not afraid. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't be unhappy. Don't be miserable. Hallelujah. All ye inhabitants. That's everybody in the church. He not talking to one or two. He said everybody. Hallelujah. Even the king, you got to do this. Praise God for what I'm saying. Read. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. The battle is not yours. It's God. Now watch now. Here's some directions. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Now you've got to go against them. Now let me put it in perspective. Yes. You still got to go to church. Right. Because you're going against the devil and that problem. So I'm going to go to church and I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord. Yes, yes. I'm going to worship and I'm yes. going to praise him and I'll keep worshiping and praising him. And if you read further down in the text, it said he appointed singers, hallelujah, yes. to go before the army. And when they started singing and glorifying God, God defeated the enemy. That's why we come to church and we got this shout. That's why we got to lift up the name of Jesus. And when you begin to lift up the name of Jesus, burdens got to go, unhappiness got to go, lack of faith got to go, all these problems in this world got to go. Because I'm lifting up Jesus, I'm in the church of God, and I'm going to stay in the church of God. I never let the devil take me out of holiness. I never won't let no problem of admission or nowhere else. Praise God. Take away my joy. Take away my thanksgiving. Take away my blessing. Hallelujah, devil. You better turn my and I'm in my What you going to do about it? I'm going to tell daddy about it. I'm going to tell my daughter about it. I'm going to pray about it at night. I'm going to pray about it in the morning. I'm going to pray about it on the job. I'm going to pray it out when I get a lunch break. I'm going to keep praying and thanking him and praising him and praying and thanking him and praising him and lifting him up. And pretty soon, how do you go? What a God. Got to fulfill Hallelujah. It's perfect fruition. If God said it, he'll bring it to pass. God told David, no weapon for him to get you God to pass. And David was looking at a massive army. Hallelujah. 
But he said, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, I'm not going to be unhappy. That's yeah. right, prophet. Hallelujah. Happy. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why when the messenger came, and he said, how is my son? He didn't say, how is the battle going? If I said, God, my battle, what am I going to worry about? I don't care if this army got defeated and went around this way and got ambushed over here. I ain't worried about all that. I'm not worried about no strategic defense and no counterattack. I'm not worried about that. That's already said. Hallelujah. I belong to God and God belongs to me. Hallelujah. So he said, how is my son? But your son is your enemy. Mm -hmm. Come on now, teach prophet. Mm -hmm. But he's an enemy now Amen. of God. Yeah. Why? Because he attacked God's anointed. Amen. Better let you take a millstone and tie it around Lord, your neck and be cast into the sea to harm the least of these. Amen. That's the word of God. Anytime somebody come against you in this church, Amen. I don't care, supervisor, his supervisor, right. upper management, or right. president, I don't care who it is. Right. When they come against the church of God, you better be careful and you better watch out. It's hard. Yes. I believe by the book Zip. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of sin. Yes. And you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Wait now. He shall not need to fight in this battle. This is not this fight. You ain't got to fight. Amen. This fight. Hallelujah. Lord. I want to show you something. Yes. You don't have to fight this battle. Yeah. All I want you to do is start yes. singing. Yeah. Amen. Start praising. Yeah. Start testifying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sent some confusion among them Syrians. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. The confusion was so massive, they started fighting each other. Right. And got so mad at me when they went back home to kill the king. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, do it. You ain't got no problem. God got it. And you know why God got it? Because he can handle it. That's right. Hallelujah. Let's learn how to trust in God. Let's learn how to be happy, yes. and let's learn how not to try to try to critique God, yes. try to find out why is this or that happening. Paul, uh, uh, Peter said, think it not strange Amen. that these uh, fiery things come against you. Do you not? They come to try your faith. As long as you're in this earthly journey, you will be tested by fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Just find out if you still gonna say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you know, it's very easy when you done got a raise on your job on. and you got three, four hundred dollars under the road. Oh, yeah. You ain't got no condo. Yeah. You ain't got no bills. Oh, well, I guess you would shout. Oh, but what about when you got these bills stacked up? And you know, you know good and well. The amount of money you making, there's no way you're going to catch up on them bill. Amen. Amen. Don't let no politician tell you, vote for me. No. Yeah, praise God. That's right, that same bill collected. I was sharing with this somebody the other day. That's why I say, give to the kingdom. That's right, right. Every time you get a chance, give to the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because no matter what you make, when they put you in that ground, yep. That bill collector still gonna be sending you bills. Right. Oh, but oh, excuse me, sir, but he's dead. Yeah, but he's still a horse. And if we can't collect from him, we'll collect from you. Right. But he's dead. Don't you have no respect for the dead? We ain't got no respect for nobody. That's right. You still gonna get this bill. Amen. Yeah. Now, why do you think this is? Oh, uh, are you married? Uh, yes. Well, you, you let your wife sign too. Right. So if you die, you mean. You you gonna come after the wife? Is she already heartbroken? They don't care if you got three or four hearts broken. No. But do you know the financial system that America has, where you borrow money and then there's interest paid on that money, and then they multiply all the people that they force to work in a certain condition where they got to borrow money, and then the interest that is paid and compounded. And they do the com yep. the, the, they make the combination yep. of what they pay and they rise the interest whenever they get ready. A few people, about one percent, reap all of this benefit as you multiply 
the interest of the money people pay. And the Bible said, oh, oh no man, I understand. Right. Do you know it's not an honest debt when somebody loan you $100 and then charge you $150 back? Right. 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 Do you know there was a time they put people in prison for that? They called it loan sharking. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, they put you in jail for it. Mm. But when the government do it, oh, right. oh it's yeah. fine. Do you know there was a time when numbers was against the law? And they found out how much money the number of people were making. Amen. The government said, well, we'll change it, but we'll just call it the lottery. The lottery. Oh, but it's still numbers. Right, it's still policy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, these demons. Mm -hmm. They think God don't understand where they come from. Oh. This is why I tell you, stay in the church. That's right. Glory. Stay in the church. Yeah. And you know all you can do. Plant your feet. Amen. And stand still. Amen. Oh. How many love Jesus? Amen. How many love the word? Amen. How many ready to go out? Amen. When you need me, I will follow. Where God me. I'll go with him all the way. For his deep. Where he leads, me and I will follow. Love Talk Radio.